Oh, the Life of a Cat. There's climbing. Playing. Resting. Lots and lots of resting. In fact, you might say that life would be perfect for these felines if it weren't for one thing. They're all waiting for a permanent home. This is one of our long-termers that just doesn't do well in the cage. So Dan Rossi is the executive special. director of the Animal Rescue League Shelter and Wildlife Center. His agency takes in thousands of animals every year. Last year, and we're just doing our statistics, uh, we adopted out over 7,000 animals, about two-thirds cats, about one-third dogs. You know, if it wasn't for our volunteers, uh, we have over 500-plus volunteers that come in and help us. We wouldn't be able to do what we do without them. They get to move around. Volunteers like Martha Banwell, whose love of cats could be called hereditary. I've always had pets, primarily cats, and we've been able to trace it back five generations through the women my family. And her work at the shelter, full of compassion and dedication. I think on paper I'm supposed to be here about nine or ten hours a week. Instead, it's about three times that much. It's pretty much whatever needs to be done. That includes cleaning cages, helping with adoptions, and even fostering cats at home. We certainly don't have enough cages to house the cats that we have, so we ask volunteers to temporarily foster where they'll take uh, a mother and kittens into their household for a few months until cage space opens. And then there's the job that might be the most fun for Martha. Forget the dog whisperer. She's a phenomenal cat cuddler. What it means is you're the person that helps socialize a cat, work with them, play with them, brush them, just see how they respond to people. And then we write up a little report so that if somebody comes in and says, I want a lap cat who likes dogs and is very calm because I have a toddler, we can say, think about Fluffy. And we have a little more sense of the cat than just it's in a cage and rolling on his back right now. And getting these cats into good homes is the mission of Martha and every volunteer here. And while they love all animals, they're quick to point out the many virtues of cats. I don't want to be prejudiced against anything, but I think cats are smart. They're considered in some ways the easier pet. People think cats aren't affectionate, they don't need their owners, but they certainly do. They're never boring. One bad thing about them though is if you're reading a newspaper or something like that, they want to sit on it. That little problem aside, the volunteers agree that cats make wonderful pets, and so we meet some of the animals up for adoption. This is Danielle, and this is Muffy. Their owner died and they came in together. The Animal Rescue League would like to see them leave together too. There's Pebbles, the faded calico. Charles, the distinguished tabby. This pretty tortoise cat, sunflower in hiding. He's a total lover. There's Tony, who came in last week, and Bella, just to name a few. As they wait, the volunteers help to fill the void. They bring an energy, they bring, you know, a sunlight into the, the shelter here. I have one of those mugs, crazy cat lady and proud of it. Some of us happen to be married to very good people who will put up with it. And it's all worthwhile, especially when one of these animals gets a new home. Thrilled over the moon, it's the best. And when it's a long stayer and it feels like a really good adoption, these cats are the survivors. You know, if they're here, the chances are really, really good that the animal will be adopted. There is a person for that cat, we just have to wait.